these are the this is the trade-off is you got to start to bring people together and it's your job to bring in the right people you got to bring in the right people i cannot stress that enough i cannot overemphasize that you got to bring in the right people that are going to ask the right questions and when they start asking the right questions then things start happening and you have an organization that's working cohesively all right that is what needs to happen you do not have the luxury of just sitting back getting your money you have your fancy title and said okay I'm just going to let things be whatever things are, all right? It's a, right now, and I'll, I'll tell you right now, right now, it's a, and I'll close you guys out soon with this. Right now, this is how toxic it is for me to be in that, to be teaching at this school every day, is there are several, not just one, not one, but several colleagues that I still don't speak to. This. Ever since I put out the episode, remember a couple of weeks ago, I put out an episode titled, eliminating the toxic work environment in which I spoke about. Obviously, I didn't use anybody's name out there, but there were there were several colleagues that I had back and forth with. We still, months later, months later, I'm recording this three or four months later, still are not speaking to each other. That's how toxic the work environment has become. And it's all, again, lack of leadership, lack of meetings, lack of planning, lack of understanding the bigger picture that we're all in here to serve the kids and serve the families. And again, it takes the leader to make sure the perspective is given every single day and understand that. But again, that that's what needs to happen. And if you're in the situation where you're dealing with lack of leadership, where you're if, like my situation, where you're dealing with a individuals who struggle and they don't have the ability to communicate, they don't have the ability, they don't have the willingness, I should say, to take certain things, to take blame and hold themselves accountable for certain things happening the way certain things happen, then guess what? It's your job. It's not It's not an indictment. It's not something that you look at and say, okay, this is a detriment. Now it's your opportunity. Instead of looking at it as a detriment or something that's going to hold you back, start looking at, looking at it as an opportunity for you to grow and for you to step up and be a leader because that's exactly what it is I'm doing. 